Hi everyone, I am Pravinan from University Technical Malaysia Melaka. Metric number B0517100096 would like to discuss about an identified issue related to environment and sustainability. Before I directly go into the topic, I would like to ask my viewers that have you thought before what we will drink when all our waters are polluted? What will happen to us if water destruction occur because of water pollution? I'm sure nobody wants that to happen. So, today I would like to discuss about illegal disposal of sludge, grease or chemicals in our rivers and oceans. Before we discuss about it, let me show you an incident occurred recently on 26th of May when an irresponsible company disposed sewage sludge into the river which went viral on Facebook. From this illegal disposal, what we can learn is, there are some people who really doesn't care about the environment and also the consequences of their action towards public and nature. Since disposing in landfill or in water has certain amount of fees, the contractor dispose illegally to gain more profit instead of disposing legally. But on the other hand, they don't realize their actions are causing a life-threatening issue to the species underwater. The chemicals or waste they dispose is killing many marine life. Not only the chemicals or sludge kill them, small small rubbish or plastics are being eaten by them. This destroys habitats and even affects their mating ritual which can have devastating consequences and also can wipe an entire species. There is a shocking ocean pollution statistics that 100 million marine animals die each year from plastic waste alone. They are not only causing trouble to animals in the river and ocean, but they are also causing trouble to humans and animals on the land. We want to solve this problem by creating a system where it will be monitored by government agencies like Department of Environment, Inda Water and Ministry of Water, Land and Natural Resources. In this system, all the companies that want their waste to be treated should register. All wastewater contractors that are licensed by SPAN only can register into the system. When the companies want to dispose their waste, the companies need to specify what type of waste, amount of waste and also the name of the contractor who is transporting the waste. Then once the contractor disposes the waste in landfill or in the water, they need to upload their proof of disposal receipt to close the order. When there is a case where the proof of disposal haven't been uploaded within a time frame, government can investigate and find the contractors if they are proven guilty. So, by using this system, government can track down every waste and where are they being transported and also disposed. As a citizen of Malaysia, I would like to propose few solutions to overcome this problem. First, government needs to audit every private contractors who are responsible to transport the waste before allowing them to renew their license. By auditing them, the government can request the proof of disposals of the company and make sure they are doing it legally. Secondly, government should include environmental sustainability as a subject for students to study in secondary schools. So, our upcoming generation grow up with the awareness how important preserving our environment is. Then, government should introduce very strict fine for the parties are disposing illegally. So, it will help to reduce the number of illegal dumping cases. Last but not least, setting lower disposal fees at waste management sites will help to reduce illegal disposals. Setting lower disposal fees will encourage people and contractors to use frequently. Before the video comes to an end, I would like to say few things from my heart. The earth is our home and we humans are the most intelligent species on earth. 
let's join hands and make earth a sustainable place to live famous entrepreneur elon musk ceo of tesla and spacex is trying to bring humanity to mars why do we need mars when we have earth we are responsible for the creatures who died in ocean and rivers because of pollution we made